Thanks very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, yesterday the Minister of Education and I uh, helped the province take a very progressive step forward. And today I'd like to encourage him to come hand in hand with me and take another very progressive step forward by mandating the teaching of consent to young people as part of the school curriculum. Now, consent is fundamental in educating young people on the importance of individual rights, reinforcing gender equality, and reducing sexual violence, especially amongst females. So, uh, to the Education Minister, will he follow best practices and commit to putting the teaching of consent into the sex ed curriculum? The Honourable Minister of Education. Uh, Mr. Speaker, we, uh, we certainly want students to learn about uh, healthy lifestyles, relationships and, and wellness. Teachers already have the flexibility to discuss topics related to sexual health, including sexual consent, and uh, we encourage them to tailor class discussions and projects to current issues and to student interests. Uh, human sexuality education is currently offered in grades 4 through 9 in the Mandatory Health and Lifestyles Program. And uh, we're presently engaged, Mr. Speaker, in a curriculum review, and we welcome all school board's parents and other education stakeholders to share their perspective on the matter of sexual... Thank you. for supplemental. Uh, thanks very much. But I, I know that the curriculum is certainly about healthy and respectful relationships, but does the minister really think that being taught healthy and respectful relationships is going to empower kids to know their rights and to keep predators away? This is really important. The Honourable Minister. Well, I'm sure the member opposite would agree that healthy lifestyles, relationships and, and wellness include understanding issues pertaining to uh, sexuality, and that's why we have some of those elements in our, our curriculum. As I indicated, we are presently engaged in a broad review of our curriculum, and uh, we welcome all school boards, parents and other education stakeholders to share their perspectives on the matter of sexual consent. Final supplemental. Well, thanks, but it, it doesn't teach consent. So date rape for high school and university students is way too common. And it happens because kids find themselves out of their comfort zone and not able to deal with the situation. So why can't the government help these kids by allowing consent to be taught as part of sex education? Honourable Minister. Well, Mr. Speaker, I'll, I'll simply reiterate what I said, that we are in a curriculum review. It's a broad curriculum review of all aspects of Alberta's curriculum, kindergarten through grade 12. And uh, we welcome school boards and parents and other stakeholders and the member opposite, if she'd like to get involved, to share their perspective on the issue of sexual consent during this curriculum review.